roads of North America for a stripped down summer tour with a back to basics approach that offers a stark contrast to last year's big in the round concert production. We caught one of the first dates in Sacramento, California, and here's how it went. Everybody's getting along mighty fine, I've got to admit. You know, we're having a ball, we're out on the road. What can really, you know, what, what can you not be enjoying about it? Summertime touring is great. Like I said, short shirt, no shoes. I can kind of walk around half naked, which is much better than wearing coats and hats and gloves, which is what we did for the majority of the Adrenalize tour, which was August till April. That was all in the round as well. This time around, we're doing the outdoors at one end, which is a whole new aspect. Yeah! It's a lot more basic, you know, there's no lasers or anything, it's just a band. The other change this time around for Def Leppard is touring with an opening act, Ugly Kid Joe. It's a bit of a riot. It reminds me of us in Pyromania days. Look, look. Metal bimbos, look back there, look back there, look back there, look over there. Well, they're good guys, you know, and it's, it's nice to go out with a band because the, the entire in the round tour of America was uh, an evening with Def Leppard. It's very insular, just us and the crew and us and the crew. This time we've got a support act, and it's nice to see them go down real well, I and mean, then you have to go out there and work a bit harder. Def Leppard's new single, Two Steps Behind, is from the hit soundtrack to the box office bomb, Last Action Hero. It's also a preview of sorts of their next project. we got a new album coming out. The album's called Retroactive, and I mean, the title speaks for itself. What it is, it's, a, it's an album that kind of, it, it mixes a lot of old material and new material that's never been on a Def Leppard LP before. There'll be a Def Leppard album that says 1992, and then there'll be another one that says 1993, not 1997, as everybody would be predicting. And as Joe said in that report, Def Leppard planned to issue a new album later this year. Titled Retroactive, it's set to feature previously unheard performances by original guitarist Steve Clark, who died in January 1991. The album will be a compilation of rare material, either previously unreleased or previously unavailable on album, and Clark is featured on demo tracks made in preparation for the current Adrenalize LP. It's time to release the material or forget about it, bassist Rick Savage told us. When Steve died, one of the major reasons for carrying on was as a mark of respect to Steve and letting his music live on. It's basically us giving a tribute to him. And Retroactive will be released in October.